Okay, so there's a couple of formulas we need to remember with this. We need to know the trigonometric area formula, and that is the area is half a b sine c. A and b are the length either side of the angle, and c is the angle. And the other one we need to know is just normal triangle, half base times height. And it's a right angle triangle, so we've got the height and we've got the base there. Okay, so it says in the question that the areas are equal. So we're going to work out the area of A, we're going to work out the area of B, and we're going to get them equal to each other. It's that simple. So to work out the area of A, we use our trigonometric um, uh, area formula. So that's half um, AB. Uh, A is X and B is X. So that's going to be X squared. Sine the angle, which is 30. And the other formula uh, for the other triangle is going to be half times 1, well anything times 1 is just itself, times the height. Now whenever you've got an expression always put it in brackets. So I'm going to put this in brackets. Okay cool, right. Um, we're going to tidy this up a little bit um, before we start solving it. I'll need longer lines than that so I'll just draw these down a little bit longer. Okay, um, you need to know that sine 30 is a half, okay, and that's a requirement for the exam. So you need to know that that is just going to be a half without a calculator. We've got loads of videos on um, exact values that you need to know, and I think there's eight of them you need to know. I've probably got that wrong. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so we're going to expand the bracket. So half x um, plus, and our half of 3 is going to be... Uh, one and a half. Am I sure? Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, next thing we're going to do is um, looking at that. I'm just going to ton times everything by two. I'm just going to times everything by two. And you've got to times everything by two. So don't just do it once both sides. You've got to times all everything um, by two. And actually, that's part of the same. Term. So anything that's connect, anything that's separated by plus or a minus, you've got to times by two. Okay, so here we have uh, x squared times a half equals x plus three. Cool. Right. Okay. So next we're going to um, uh, we're going to times everything by two again. Actually, uh, two times everything by four. Get rid of the half. So we've got 2x plus 6. Okay, now um, looking at the requirement in the question, it says it wants it in the form a plus minus um, root b. Now that hints at the fact that we are com going to complete the square to solve this. Um, it means that basically we can't work out the exact answer, but we can show it as a square root. Um, you could also use the quadratic formula. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do completing the square. Um, to complete the square, you need the x terms on the same side. So, actually, I'm just going to write down what I'm doing. Got ahead of myself. I'm going to take away 2x from both sides. I'm going to extend my line even more. And so we've got x squared minus 2x equals 6. Now, to do this, what we um, need to do is we need to um, put a set of brackets down and it's going to be x, and it's going to be half of um, the number before the x. So if you have a look here, it's a 2 there, so we're going to subtract 1 inside the bracket, and we're going to square it. Okay. Uh, there's loads of videos on completing the square, so if you don't know how to do that, um, just check out the video, just type in uh, on mass completing the square. Um, we've also got a an erroneous 1 that that generates, which we don't want, so we need to take away the 1 uh, on the outside, equals 6. Next, we're just going to add that 1 to both sides. Really simple. Um, so we've got x minus 1 squared equals 7. Extend my lines even more. Uh, we're nearly done, though. Uh, we're going to square root both sides. So it's going to be x minus 1 equals root 7. And then we're just going to add 1 to both sides. So x equals 1 plus or minus uh, root 7. Now, the reason that plus minus is there is when you square root a number, you get a positive and a negative answer. So our answer is A will be 1 and B will be 7.